what's going on guys so here's what happened remember the other day when I was doing burnouts it looked cool but in all reality I was kind of, kind of being foolish you can't can't really do stuff like that unless unless you're willing to buy a new tire so where does that leave me gotta buy a new tire um so what happened basically was uh not both of my tires evenly burnt out so my my right um rear tire has a lot of grip on it still and it's like it almost feels like the one on my driver rear side um burnt out a lot more rubber than um than my actual um than both tires in like in you know together so uh i have one ball tire and one tire that's still the same as what it looked like when uh before before i decided to do that so yeah that's where i'm at right now um can't can't really hate the fact that i did that i don't which you know it was fun i did have a lot of time and i actually got a pretty good shot at it so um it was really cool i mean was it worth it yeah i think so but i gotta pay 100 100 plus dollars down for that shit <laughs> but yeah so <sighs> That's what I have to do. I honestly, I called around everywhere and you know, the tires I have on my car right now, they're pretty good quality tires. I'm not sure if you've, you know, what you feel about these tires. They're the Cooper Xeon RS 3A um, tires. So Cooper is actually a really good brand. It's a premium tire and they, they do last a long time. And honestly, I've driven through mud, I've driven through snow, I've driven through like crazy ass rain. You name it, I've gone through it because I drive everywhere. I used to work in muddy conditions and dirty conditions and, you know, uh, driving up to L.A., I'd go through the snow because you got to go through the grapevine to get to L.A. if you're coming from northern Bakersfield or northern, you know, California, really. And um, you got to drive through the, the, the grapevine through that. So I hit snow and whenever I do want to go and visit um, the snow, I run into snow, obviously. I don't put chains on my car because it doesn't really snow that hard. Before, like, it, everything gets plowed out of, the, out of the road. I don't really go through uh, snow and wet chains. So, um, yeah. They're a good tire. And, you know what? I'm not going to put some cheap-ass tire in my car either because, let's face it, someone's calling me. Hold on. So, I made it to the tire shop. And um, I, I had just slapped on some new, some new tires on this front one right here. See? Ugh, there's still a lot of grip on there. I mean, that's another fucking 80,000 miles ago. But when they, when I burned out my tires in the back, that's what I was talking about. See that shit? Ugh. It's like bubble all the way. And that's from me burning out on one side. That's not like, well, p technically doing a donut. Not, you know, doing a donut. See, still got a lot of grip on that one, a lot of tread. A lot of not tread on that one. But, um,. But yeah, man, so, you know, this this holds me back from, you know, going out of town all the time and shit like that, too, so, this is what you gotta do. Ugh. But, I mean, it was worth it, shit, it was fun. It was like a one-time thing, if anything, I mean, maybe later on when I become a baller, shot caller, and I can do this every weekend, but uh, I can't be spending money on, on tires like this all the time. Nah, I'm just kidding. I probably will. But whatever. Let me pop that thing off real quick.
McIntyre, man. Ugh, so much difference. Perfecto. Alright, so we got the tire on finally, and um, man, it's a trip because it feels. I can't really feel like, you know, I can't really say it's like, oh, it feels a lot smoother or anything like that. It almost feels like my back side of my car was like raised up a little bit. And, um, I mean, it feels pretty good. I mean, it just, I think I feel more secure knowing that there's a fresh tire on there rather than riding around on my fucking chunk gloves. But, um, you know, it feels great, man. So, um, I just I just got one tire for right now and then um, later on I'm gonna stop the other two on too because I I really just want to have fresh new tires on my car you know um, for this next season because it's gonna be summer coming up after the winter but even the winter you know, I don't want to have ball tires and you know sliding around in the mud or anything like that I'd rather not get injured or crash my car or anything like that so yeah you guys make sure you like and subscribe this video comment on the section below let me know how you feel about my tires and let me know if you have a better tire because maybe I don't know about this tire so give me a heads up what's the best ones out there what tires do you use uh, fuck I don't know I'm talking about the car you drive and how it feels I might do a video later on about the things I fucking hate about my car uh, one thing I'll tell you right now is um, I love my car and everything but there's this annoying thing right here so I'm not sure if I can show you so right there, it says that it's 57 degrees outside. All right, so that's that's what it says right there, right? Um, whenever I turn off my car and I'm like getting ready to like go inside or go into the store or anything like that, if I leave the moonroof open, it's gonna like fucking blare in my face like your moonroof is open. Like, dude, I know my fucking moonroof is open, but it's it does that every single time and it's just so fucking annoying. So that's something that it's like, if I want to leave it open, then I want to leave it open. Like, keep on tell me that shit and I'm a fucking I don't know gouge your eyes or something like that but I'm not gonna hit my car whoever put that in there you need to stop that right now but other than that that's everything that I'm gonna say about my car for right meow so later on I'll get I'll get more into it but you guys have a great day like and subscribe man peace